Vortex has been making moves lately. Shout out to Vortex yeah, and Connecticut. Yeah. I haven't yeah, been in there. Both CT locals over there. Right. Right. You have literally Light, Ling, Oh, Ali. Jig, I heard him. It's crazy over there. Bro, like, Vortex has been making moves. Yeah, I've been going to locals and stuff like that. Today, I was tired. I'm right. Tired. I felt that, bro. Yo, we're Today, I came we're in. I haven't been to Bracket in months. Right? It's so, <laughs> I, like, I lost my round one of Shane Lee. And I then, did, too. And I'm, then I'm like, you know what? Had a little loser's run. It happens, and but then, you know, next time you got it. Right, next time, that ain't gonna happen to me, bro. Yeah, I'm confused why we starting on this stage. Hey. Actually, no, I'm not surprised, actually. I mean, Eli these loves two. this stage. I know, but I mean, like, between these two, like, who would have thought they would want to start the stage? Nah, like, because even between these two players, like, Eli, I expected this to happen, because he's not going to really... Oh, I, I mean, but he, he wouldn't mind PS2, is my thing. Yeah. But yeah, I'm guessing it's G-Extreme that was like, yeah, let's go Smash, let's go Smash, bro. I believe... Uh, oh, oh, my God, go that was a good goal yeah. smash. <laughs> Go back, cheap, bro. That was good knowledge use, uh, usage from G Extreme, knowing that he can just bounce those into Nikita and not panic during his recovery. Oh, that almost and now this is G Extreme's chance to continue juggling Eli. I agree, but both of them are at kill percent, especially Eli. Oh, yeah, that's safe. You can't, can't challenge that on shield. He tried. He, he would have killed too, I'm pretty sure. He tried to call out like a, a little aggressive bait. Oh, we got the G Jolt. Oh, uh, good jump, jump call out yep. from G Extreme. In that scenario, Eli just has to stay very grounded. Oh, oh, Down on oh, 4-2? Oh, yeah, 4-2 oh, yeah. guaranteed. He, he, he literally <laughs> zipped in front of him. <laughs> and he died. Now, I love the Dakita usage from Eli, knowing that he was going to go right towards the ledge. Of course, he had no choice. You know, when you're in that position, when yeah. you're on the side of the stage, there's it was, it was a risky chance to go back on stage, Now, G-Extreme could have, like, at least delayed it with a different angle or, like, went oh, slightly above yeah. it. But yeah. either way. No, but oh. what I mean was he couldn't go above. You yeah. know, he had to go for, like, down. Right, basically having no other option. Because if he tried to zip back on stage, Eli, you know, was pretty much prepared. Oh, he got seen the down, down smash. Good DI from Eli, not yeah, panicking. Yeah, falling right through, so he doesn't get caught Most by players would have actually panicked air dodge up, and then J-Stream would have punished from there. Yeah, that's true. Thunder. Right. Yeah, yep, I knew the thunder him. was coming. No spike this time, just getting him right And that's kind of hard for Snake to come out, too, because... Yeah, you're in the blast zone, and it's like, exactly. you, can't see, you can't see the thunder cloud. Because sometimes, even if uh, if Snake stays in his uh, Cypher, he has armor on his Cypher. I forgot the exact percent that would take him out. But thunder, sometimes Thunder hits it, and sometimes Thunder won't hit it. So it was kind of yeah. scary to, to be in that position. Oh my god, good patience, good back out of shield from G-Extreme. Now, G potentially taking this game with a lot of momentum coming in his favor. He probably ain't happy that he lost to Kreninja Sun. Oh, really? Like, I, I didn't get to watch the set. But yeah, now, nah, like, uh, it was a pretty close set. It was like 2-1. Yeah, yeah. But Kreninja beat him with a Sonic into a, a dominant 3 stock at that final game. Oh, good bait. Let's go, Eli. All right. It's not just GXU's game just yet. Eli still has a chance. All right, Ooh, the GXU. Actually, getup. that's the Pikachu special, because that's how I lost to him last time. Barely got hit by that. I move. lost because I died at 60, bro. Right. <laughs> and I, I, was took, I was winning I literally that had him in a game three last stock, last hit. See. And I died by a, a, lo a lingering force. You're, you're, you're in my street. I had a max rage. <laughs> you get one thing. On a platform. I died at 60. Man, that's, that's heartbreaking. Oh, yo, then that's the angle I was talking about. He just barely went over the ledge, but it was enough to get out of that hitbox. Because I feel like if he would have went straight to the ledge that time, Eli would have actually sniped him with Ooh, the Oh, Eli the actually, you know, he didn't go all the way up this time. Ooh. Both players Ooh, are just scrapping. I, I like They're just taking Eli. turns in the corner at this I point. Agree. I like that Eli, you know, he was patient enough to wait. Yeah. Ooh. Again, the full head of that dash attack. Yeah. Oh, oh the that was. Oh, oh, but the, oh, the, the, the amount of big brain that Eli had to do right there was phenomenal. Yo, the fact he knew that Cypher at startup, you can't knock him out of that at startup. And knowing that Pikachu has. Well, the only like, way you come out of startup is if you hit him with like a super, super strong move. Yeah, well, like something that, like a no. knee or a Ganon stomp or something. Or Kirby but, Bagger, but like something, something like, like Pikachu like, is just. Oh, oh, he almost man. lived it. But that Eli was Eli gave close. him a good fight with the defense. I love, I love how close that was, and I love how Eli was so smooth with it, yeah. avoiding all these options from GX, despite being a small C, and almost bringing that back and taking the nah, game. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Like it was, it was such a phenomenal play from Eli, using the cipher at disadvantage rather than just pulling out another grenade or a panic air dodge. Like a lot of other snakes definitely would have do that. Yeah. I would have got hit by that. That was OD. And then J-String could have just kept up airing in, in, yeah. in advantage. 
That was I'm pretty sure he probably ran it back if uh, G Extreme didn't ban Smashville. Because when I was talking to Eli earlier, he's saying like Smashville is his favorite stage. And we have a completely yeah. different sneak opinion. Each like, Western player has their own favorite stage. Yeah. Three, two, and I can one, see why Smashville go. is such look, running it back to Smashville. You beat Eli and Smashville, you're just getting the immediate run back. Indeed, you're not wrong there. I'll be an asshole and just dance Smashville as I beat him in Smashville. Like, nah, bro. <laughs> we ain't running it back. Watch it. I don't want to lose. Right. <laughs> that, that, that was bad. Yeah, there you go. That was bad. <laughs> oh my god, he died immediately. <laughs> I'm sorry for not looking at this, but Maddie was bringing. He died immediately. My man was bringing Nintendo his food. And that stock was gone. It wasn't even two seconds. God damn. Eli, Eli like, I'm about to join you. Oh shit. Good so I'm running back. I'm going my whole crit. I got the lead? <laughs> Come chase me, bro. And this is what Snake wants to have. He wants to have the first lead in any set because when Snake has a lead, even against Sonic players, when Snake has a lead, he's very annoying and very dangerous. The fact that, you know, that he can just wrap up a lot of high percent. And even if you right. have, even if you have a good advantage state, you just put, you're eventually going to trade with Grenade. And you have to figure out as a player that when do you want to trade with Grenade. I agree. Oh, oh my god. Yep, yep, that happens. I wish I had that look to toss the entire hitbox of Force Smash. Well, it's a, he got into it. As soon as you know, you're able to, if you dodge it the right way, you won't get hit. Right. I've seen it before. G Extreme playing a little impatient, but I was going to say, you know, Eli did something really amazing to get back to stage. Right. And he was able to get back, and he just blew up a C4. Oh. What, what he did was B reverse grenade and dodge the thunder, Jeez. and yep, not looking for the C4. There you go. Eli, like, hell no, I'm not Going losing to this again. red. Grenade saved him. And yeah. he's at one sixty. Yep, you had no choice. You were either going to get Oh, exposed. my God. He tried to obliterate this, man. He, he looking for a twitch clip. Oh, he's still living. 197. Yeah. And the grenade was right there, so he couldn't even, like, fully drift again. away. Another beer reverse. Damn near by to Eli. 200%. I know. Yeah, he running away with this, literally. This is a game of cat and mouse, ah. but, you know, the, the mouse is the one chasing this time. Bro, I read that wrong. Oh, and no, no he got hit by the grenade. That's great. Well, he almost loved that. Nah, but that, that's the Eli classic, though. That is he, the Eli classic. He, he would pull out grenade, run up to you, and, and really grab you. But All he right. will always cover roll away and have the grenade behind him. All Scenarios right, now, like that, you want to really utilize which, which, would you, which move you would rather just get hit by at that point. All right now, Eli with a big lead. Yeah, he is. G Stream, you know, has to be very careful. He yep. didn't believe. G oh, believe. he waited for the spot dodge. He read it and. Just didn't space it. Eli, you know, sweeping that game, sweeping those stocks left and right. Yo, if you're a Connecticut fan, that's an F in the chat right there. Oh, God. But if you're a Western fan, <laughs> that's a W in the chat. <laughs> Not all like. Definitely, I think this is winner's finals, right? Isn't no. this losers? Oh, yeah, yeah, because he lost to Suarez. Yeah. That's right, yeah. He lost, he lost Suarez. Suarez and he lost to Kreninja. Right. I'm bugging. Well, you got the same thing I got last time. Actually, it's five. That should be hitting. <laughs> Batty boy lost last time. This shit bossy. <laughs> now where are we going? Where are we going? My thing Gassi is if you Junior is really thinking about it like that. Well, well, my thing back. is when you choose Battlefield Swap, you have to choose music. Because I was playing Nick at Reboot and yeah. Losing Files. He was choosing some fire ass music. I was like, good man. <laughs> I like this. Most no PS2. Yeah, you gotta do. yeah, we started Small Battlefield. I was like, yeah, let's listen to some good yeah, music. I'm picking songs. But if you choose the stage. About to have rock, paper, scissors on starting on small battle. Oh, God. Now, if you don't choose the music on any of these stages, you're wild. Right. You can get environmental oh, noises. Oh, I got to <laughs> tell my boy I'm dominating today. Hold on. You know, Swigzy chooses environmental noises. <laughs> Yo, I'm fighting Swigzy if he picks environmental noises. Yo, I remember one time he's playing Nick. He chose environmental Oh, what the <laughs> fuck is that? The, that's the plan. That's the plan. You know what? I'm out of lose. Oh, small battle. Like, be better. Oh, You're gonna hear no everything. fire music. Yo, what if that's some that that could be a crazy ass track? Cause if I put environmental noises in the middle of the set, you're just gonna hear noises. So that this means if you, if you have hold on, Ooh, if, you have, if you have fans coming out of nowhere, right? They're just cheering for you. You hear all of that shit. Cause you're not having music in your ears. Bro, why, Think is about that, why, it. why is that a soundtrack, bro? It's not even music, bro. You give me ASMR. <laughs> But we're, we're with nature. It's right. crazy. You're listening to Mother Nature, and you're hearing people roast you at the same time for doing bad in bracket. Oh, God. 
That's why I like mods. You add custom music. Right. Change the environment to noise and something else. Ooh, nice down here. See, this music's fine. I like this. It's, these two got a lot of good music because it's just Pokemon music. Right. Alright. Ooh, playing around the shield. Yeah. Ooh, he got caught by the explosion. Even, though, even though the double parry, but it's a back. I like the idea that he had, but it was the most. Yeah, I was gonna say, the grenade exploded, but he was like, the grenade was on the end of the platform. That right. was funny. And he still got hit. Alright, we got more Tegos and grenades coming through. And this is neutral. <laughs> <laughs> this is neutral. They're just doing their projectile. They're doing their thing. Oh, good spacing from GA Stream, not hitting the grenade. Yeah, but nice backer from Eli right there. <laughs> oh, he know he did. <laughs> what the fuck? Nah, I, I, I just want to say that. I just want to say that interaction was dumb. They stood there for a good minute. <laughs> you know, like, what if I just run up and grab? What if I just run up and grab? Yeah, now I'm just gonna charge Sometimes down. Sometimes the most simplistic plays is the smartest play you can do. And now he has a big lead. A lot of high-level players is gonna like weave around, play the whip punish game. Yeah, oh, that was a good dodge from Eli. Eli's gaming right now. Like he just did that grab. Yeah. You gonna die to this down smash cross right. shade, you light as hell. <laughs> Not, again, going so low. That I love that so and he take, he did that last match too. He right. aimed low and he was able to get back to stage. He could have actually that was game beat Suarez in the set if he did that conversion. Because he had a very similar conversion against Suarez. But instead of up here, you know what he did? What he did back here. Uh, and he was all the way at the top. It'd be like that. So I was like, ah, the tur it, was either, it was either the turning nerves or it was like... You know what missing puts happening. Right, now, right now, if you're G-Extreme, you don't want to put any more damage on yourself. But the hard part is, Grenade oh is going to play a role. 71% on the I board. I love the grenade you And he has the grenade. Ooh, I thought he and he read here. the drift. He read the drift. He didn't go for a back oh end. That's smart, God. though. All right, extending his lead right now. Tremendously. Oh, God, I read the forward here, too. Oh, man. G-Extreme has to get the stop. Yeah, that's it. Yep, up the He, he almost waiting. lived. Yep. He had to work so hard to Just wrap to get up the that. percent. And he's gonna have to do that for four more wow, minutes. Wow, I go. Right. Well, Eli didn't really have to do much. You know, he let the grenades do the work right. and help him get that damage. Woo! I love that! Get this it's man off the set. Down here one get into, into, into up smash? That was it. Yo! <laughs> get this man off the set. This the man set, is going crazy. My man is packing. Packing some heat. <laughs> he said the down air one would sneak. I was like, what the? He did one down air. Eli about to go to it's the venue. Eli about to go to the venue like, yeah, I planned it, guys. Yo, he smashed. Where you at, bro? He just did something <laughs> sick. 